welcome to cricket o mania is cricket suffering from an overkill of t20 that's the question we are asking today i has been three reasons we are going to talk about as to why we should be even concerned about it what's the first one well i think uh, you know audiences for champions league t20 yeah. are there enough numbers in terms mm. of at the stadia yeah. uh, and in terms of eyeballs right. certainly okay so that's sponsorship mm. interest whether there's enough money backing uh, you know right the, the other league outside of the ipl right and third uh, if there is an overkill mm. if there's too much of t20 is it affecting the other formats especially mm. test cricket okay i think these are the three big concerns for me right okay now uh, the the question we are asking obviously concerns the champions league t20 was about to start shortly among other things half of the I eight ipl teams are sort of figuring in the same champions league t20 so there's also a sense of overlap there's a sense of overlap but i think that was you know kind of uh, necessarily made to happen also earlier mm -hmm. there was there, there had to be two now there are three mm -hmm. because if the champions league is also held in india mm -hmm. then you know you need more indian teams otherwise there is very right. waning interest in the format right and it's also coming on the heels of a uh, uh, not so good tour to england except for the one day part of course correct yeah, yeah. but i think this is different format the mm -hmm. audiences can be very different from mm -hmm. the test series but the players the players are the same okay that's the you point know, isn't it that's the point yeah yeah okay so let's get uh, some more with amol uh, mazunda joins us uh, amol uh, what is your sense i mean are we uh, to, uh, to to sort of pose the primary question is there is there a overdose of uh, t20 cricket uh, you know the first thing that strikes me um, when you ask this question is um, are there enough in uh, eyeballs uh, watching the champions league at the moment and i feel uh, they're not uh clearly in the stadium um you know even if you take it to some place like ranchi or even in hyderabad there uh, are not many people who connect to champions league who, who are not connecting to the team um and uh, i clearly feel that um, you know you need to rethink about your strategy about champions league yes ipl is there for 45 days and it gives us a, a good a uh, good dose of 2020 cricket and that's one of the reasons that uh, india has done well in that format internationally um but um uh, you know i think champions league there's no, not much connect with the fans um uh, with the team so what's your sense uh, you know uh, i asked talked about three points i think you talked about uh, audiences he talked about the players he talked about the sponsorship which to you is uh, the key concern here that we should be worried about at this point of time I I think uh, overdose always is uh, anything in excess is a problem isn't it I mean um, no matter what it is um we just had an IPL of 45 days and then they went to uh, a grueling tour of England where the, uh, obviously the results didn't show um, um you know um, uh, you know any improvement in the overseas um, record so I think people would obviously uh, you know connect those two immediately so the thing i think uh, you know there are there are certain things which uh, bcci will have to take care of and i think anything in excess is not not really good i mean you need to give something to the players you know i'm talking from a players perspective i mean you, you, they played 45 days of ipl a uh, grueling season of in england they were back uh, within 5 or 6 days they're back into champions league and there will be another test series coming after that so it's 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 really killing you know it's uh, as uh, if you can elaborate a little bit on that i mean as someone who's obviously pl uh, played playing uh, first class cricket scored a lot of runs what's your sense in how much a batsman uh, and i'm really asking you to speak for as a batsman can take in terms of exposure on the field and particularly when you're uh, you know you're on varying formats you know, look it's very difficult to uh, to adjust to three different formats you know one day cricket is completely different uh, 2020 is 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 a different ball game uh, it's it's a robust cricket i would say 2020 uh, and test match cricket is completely different uh, you know you need to have technique temperament is tested uh, but i i, I think um, you know you, you as a player you need to adjust and nowadays the demands are so high the media pressure is so high um you know there are people watching the people um, you know covering the the sport extensively in this country so i think uh, the, pre um, the pressures that a player goes through is uh, tremendous nowadays and um, as a player i i would have always preferred to have a little bit of rest a little bit a little bit of gap between all formats of the game so that i can i can prepare myself uh, accordingly uh, to the Amor, format when you say gap what kind of gap uh, do you mean can you, can you define that for us Well, there's there's nothing i can define it but at least you know at least 3 weeks okay. 
three weeks so that I can I can get myself back into the uh, game or you know adjust to the demands of that format of the game. Right. So three weeks at least in between formats because as we've all agreed these are radically different formats. Yeah, I think you know you can't have a push button situation here. You switch off one format and play the other. I think what Amul is saying is right. Hmm. Uh, you know and. I have actually an interesting, uh, you know, just playing devil's advocate yeah. and I would like to get Amol's reaction here. So while we say that T20 leagues are putting a lot of pressure on players, mm -hmm. obviously mm -hmm. uh, on the fans because there might be a fatigue factor, mm -hmm. but the way we see international cricket, you know, being kind of panning out over the last few years, mm -hmm. actually the mm -hmm. T20 leagues mm -hmm. have helped the West Indies and New Zealand for instance to mm -hmm. revive their mm. cricket, mm. their players mm. who are otherwise getting no money, mm. the boards were bust, yeah. are getting play, uh, are getting money, and then they are getting exposure mm. to a lot more cricket than they would otherwise have had. And but countries like England are not turning up. No, England because the, the season clashes, mm. and therefore their two teams don't participate in the Champions mm. League. Mm. Uh, the Australian teams do mm. in the Champions League. I'm saying even the IPL or the mm. Big Bash mm. or these leagues have actually helped substantially mm. West Indies cricket and New Zealand cricket. I am not so sure whether they have helped mm. uh, the others so much as much as they have helped the other these, these two countries. What do you think about it, Amal? Yeah, you have got a very good point. I was in Holland for the last five months and I would I would just take that point a little ahead and say that uh, you know somebody like Ryan Tendish Carter is not playing international cricket at all, but he's playing all the leagues um, across the globe Everywhere you'll find Ryan Tendiskarter as a professional cricketer playing only T20 format. Whether it's uh, the Bangladesh Premier League, whether it's a BBL, a Big Bash, uh, West Indies in South Africa, in India, IPL. So, uh, you know, players are not turning up for uh, international cricket. He didn't turn up for Holland at all, uh, where I was um, the batting consultant for them, uh, um, you know. But he didn't turn up for the uh, World Cup event. But he preferred to play T20 format. He preferred to play Bangladesh Premier League rather than playing the World Cup qualifiers. So that shows what impact it has had um, over the years for the last uh, two, three years. It's, 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 um, right. Players have, have earned a lot of money, but they are, sometimes they, they do ignore international cricket. For right. Them. So we've also got cricket enthusiast Navneet joining us from Hyderabad. Navneet, what's, what are you batting for and why? Well, I... I I'm, I'm definitely going to agree to what Amol said as well. Uh, and like for me, what baffles me is uh, for the CLT20, why didn't say someone like a Dhoni or Rohit Sharma, why didn't they step out of this tournament, right? Considering we just came back from such a long tour and we have some important tours ahead. This is probably the time off that we could have had. There is a good bench strength that say CSK have, for example, that can represent themselves in a tournament like this. And uh, it'll also give some of our senior members enough rest that they are they, that I think they really really need before they go on to more important tours. And uh, I, I and I think it's the other point that was mentioned about sponsorship and money that sort of attracts most people to play many of these tournaments and bring them back. But on the other side, it's also resulting in us not getting the results that we want to that we should be getting overseas. And I think just this overload of T20, just the number of leagues is definitely having uh, an impact on us. So, I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, uh, Navneet yeah. made two points. I yeah. don't agree substantially with either. Certainly yeah. not with the second, because I'll, which is about our players not doing well overseas because they're playing too much T20 cricket. Why? I mean, the sport is not only about our players. It's mm -hmm. also it's about, about the Australian players, players yeah. the South African players. They seem to be doing fine. Mm. It's just that we keep you know, making these complaints all the time. Mm. So, we need to do far more in the first class sphere. Mm. We need to have more rigour, mm. more players playing Ranji Trophy cricket mm. rather than bunking them and playing only this, mm. these formats. Yeah. That said, why are Dhoni and Vira, uh, Rohit Sharma and some of the others, Ravindra Jadeja playing now, they could have made way for some of the others in CSK. I think the, the dynamics of commerce mm. which make for a tournament which mm. is a mm. you know cash driven mm. con con tournament yeah. and eyeball driven con uh, con tournament is not going to allow that yeah. ultimately if dhoni is not playing if jadeja is not playing if raina is not playing csk will have no followers yeah. unfortunately that's the demand and supply equation that all sports work on mm. if atp tournaments mm. there are a certain minimum number of tournaments the big guns have to play mm. whether it's roger federer or andy murray it doesn't matter they have to fulfill a certain quota of you know, tournaments mm. that they have to play. Mm. So, that's how international sport is run now. Mm. So, I don't think that you can just say, you've just had a series, you've come back. Mm. That's in the broader aspect of 
planning the itinerary which needs to be thought of by the administrators mm. but from a fans point of view mm. from a cha broadcast channels point of view from a sponsors point of view if mm. your big stars are not there mm. why the hell should they be pumping in money at all correct so you brought you really brought us to the commerce part of the whole equation which yeah. is of course as critical as always uh, amol let me come back to you so uh, obviously commerce also uh, creates its own supply of of uh, matches of talent coming in of a continuous flow of uh, tournaments and so on so I, we keep discussing this of course but where at what point are we today in terms of you know this whole thing having an impact on the real performance of our players and the real performance of our teams uh, well you cannot connect um, uh, those two um, uh, to a certain extent you you should um, and you can but not everything as i as i said you know um, uh, just adding to that what navneet and ayar said players have nothing to do with it uh, the whether to choose champions league it's the administrators to decide whether uh, to have champions league um, or or not to have uh, at that moment of time so it's not up to the players it's up to the administrator to schedule it correctly you know um, and the, the, you know we need to learn from from le we need to learn lessons from what we have um, done in the past say for example before england we played ipl and it was completely um, a, a mismatch complete mismatch um, where you, we found that all the all the cricketers were found wanting uh, in england you know in, at least in test match cricket so before australia series i would suggest that you know have a three weeks off have a grueling camp with the red ball and and you know let them play ranji trophy cricket let all the cricketers play ranji trophy cricket uh, in hardcore conditions and then take it forward you know yes we 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 get a lot of supply from the ipl we we expose the, the youngsters to a lot of international stars and international crowd pressure and the media pressure that's fine but regarding um, ranji trophy cricket do not ignore that because that's the base that you will uh, you will uh, form the indian team with if the test team is strong the one day team is strong and the twist followed by the t20 that's the uh, lineup right. out and and let's come to the specific uh, tournament uh, i as so this the champions league t20 in itself i mean we were talking about t20 yeah. as a conceptual uh, issue is this is this a tournament uh, that has a lot of relevance is does it have weight meaning and all of that i mean it has weight and meaning as much as any t20 league anywhere okay. in the world mm -hmm. in the in the sense that uh, you know it has been sanctioned by the icc i mean you know sure. uh, yeah, there yeah, are yeah. boards involved no, I, they, I mean they in, in the way unfortunately what has happened in yeah. the case of the champions league is because it came after the ipl and the mm. ipl was such a resounding success mm. that it seems like an also ran mm. to the ipl mm. so and in terms of the money matters i think that perhaps it just too hefty a price was paid to mm. buy the rights mm. and then you know there was a international meltdown the mm. econo econo mm. economic meltdown mm. and then everything could have been 6 months or 3 months later you could have got all these things for half the price right so those the, the those economics apart mm. i think is is just the fact that it came after the ipl and because cricket is so india centric or india driven mm. uh, you know and in this tournament more so perhaps No, the IPL completely so. Okay. Because all the teams are from India. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's an Indian domestic tournament. Correct. The Champions League is not an Indian domestic tournament. Mm. It's two teams from all the test playing countries mm. who come there with their T20 champions Correct. and runners yeah. up and participate. Mm. But mm. the Indian interest in it is not as high mm. because the other teams, barring the top three or mm. three from the IPL, mm. are not Indian teams. Mm. There's not much familiarity with the players. Maybe over a period of time, it may evolve. Mm. but it's still a little remote and therefore you will find that where the ipl is concerned mm. the champions league does not draw the same amount of interest or crowds mm. or eyeballs mm. right okay so we also went out on the streets as we always do in the city of mumbai and asked a few people what they thought on this subject let's hear them test cricket jyada hona chahiye kyunki jo cricketers bante hain wo test cricket ke wajah se bante hain और ज़्यादा डिमांड टेस्ट क्रिकेट को होना चाहिए ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी की वजह से अपना क्रिकेट खराब होता है और अपने जो प्लेयर्स है वो इंजर्ड ज़्यादा होते हैं क्योंकि शॉर्ट्स क्रिकेट होता है इसके लिए इट इज़ फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट एंड इट इज़ फॉर पीपल टू एंजॉय इट सो आई डोंट थिंक इट इज़ सफरिंग इफ देर आर देर इज़ एनी ओवर किल आई थिंक नाउ क्रिकेट इज मोर ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट देन आर स्पोर्ट इवन दो इन दास्ट फ्यू इयर्स एवरी ईयर देर आर ऑन लाइक टू और थ्री टेस्ट सीरीज दैट इंडिया प्लेज एंड दो आई एम अ बिट डिसअपॉइंटेड एवरी ईयर 
but still india do play a lot of test series and you get to see those jo log usko promote karte they are making it's an entertainment rather than a cricket uh, in a way yes in a way no because uh, the people who are playing t20 are not able to compete with the 50 overs matches so in a way it is affecting but it is giving other players the opportunity the t20 is the opportunity for many people to play i don't think that cricket is suffering in any way according to me be it tw- tw- 2020 odis or test you need to practice properly be it any format you need to adapt the most important thing in cricket and in formats is adaptability if you can adapt from the test format to the o- odi or 2020 20 format then it's all right Right, as always, uh, you can see a very intelligent crowd out there who seem to always get all the points right. Huh? Yes. But why they want to see it, what they think can be uh, delivered to them, and how? See, two things work in favor of uh, the the T20. One is it, it cuts across genders mm. and it age groups. Everybody seems to enjoy it because it's, it's just so simplistic. Mm. Uh, you know, there it's not nuanced like Test cricket. Uh, it's not like ODIs, which seem to have run their course because mm. in the middle overs you don't know why the hell the ODI right. is being played at all. Right. The other part is, which I think this one, the, the young man towards the end mentioned, mm. is that it has afforded more livelihood to more players mm. and coaches and support staff. So yeah. the universe of cricket, mm. uh, you know, cricketers and support staff has increased. Mm. In that sense, the industry has become bigger and larger. Yeah. So that's, you that's know, good. what we are yeah. looking at for the good. Or it should be good. Okay, uh, 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 Damdeep, what, what's your sense? I mean, you've now uh, heard some opinions. You've heard the young people we spoke to in Mumbai. Uh, are you changing your mind? No, like see, uh, <laughs> and I think to Ayaz's point as well, and to what I mentioned before, uh, I was talking more in reference to the impact that T20 cricket is happening on the current performance and stuff like that. But T20 as a format in itself, I think, is really, really good, and I think all. everything that surrounds the game is definitely benefiting thanks to t20 right not just in identifying new talent but the money is coming in obviously the sponsors um, uh, and the players the, the the overall i think everyone's benefiting from the format right. itself even kpl for that matter in karnataka are really benefiting from this format but my only thing is that it should and at to what amol said the the board should somewhere figure out if this format is really impacting india as a country in itself and its performance and see if we can do some things for example like have a have a sort boot camp sort of a uh, an exercise just before the australia tour to see how we can get ready for that and as long as we ensure that some some of the t20 tournament doesn't come in the way and uh, uh, and uh, um, make our preparations not rock solid right uh, amol uh, your last word here i mean we started by asking is there an overdose of t20 are we seeing too much of it is it affecting or will will it affect some of our forward tournaments uh, i don't think it will uh, affect uh, now but the thing is um, if you ask the other cricketers as i asked said you know worldwide cricketers they all look forward for champions league because they get to come here and get a um, you know a little bit of piece of um, you know ipl cricket or uh, you know they, their careers can take off after the champions league so uh, i don't think from a player's perspective it's bad but um, from the indian players perspective i think uh, it can um uh, be an overdose sometimes you know after a grueling tour of england at least as a cricketer uh, as a player i wouldn't have wanted to play champions league definitely not right uh, so I that's that's we're also going to go to our quiz yeah. uh, this thing in a yeah. second yeah go ahead no that's what amol says right but that's partly because we are driven to excess yeah so when odis came in and after we won the 1983 world cup yeah india suddenly got into this you know binge of playing odi matches and there yeah. used to be 40 matches or 50 matches a year that we were playing yeah you know and the test matches reduced so mm. now odis have reduced and t20s have become more but yes i agree with amol and with navneet i think some amount of rationalization has to take place mm. more for giving and players rest because you can't keep flogging mm. uh, you know i mean ultimately if they compel to go out there and play they will mm. play mm. but they might not be playing at their best or they might not be playing best when they are representing their country or some other format right so some amount of rationalization has to be there right okay so let Yeah. So, uh, sorry, guys. We just come back in a second. So, we also did a quiz as we always do in cricket mania. We asked this time, "What's Australia's version of T20 called?" And a couple of other questions. Uh, let's see how many people know the answers. Uh, KFC. I have no idea. KFC T20. Uh, it is called the KFC 2020. Kolkata. Nice. KKR. 
कोलकाता नाइट राइडर कोलकाता नाइट राइडर कोलकाता नाइट राइडर आई डोंट नो सॉरी टीरोन पुलार कायरन पुलार टीरोन पुलार पुलार Right, so there you are. I mean, obviously, it's not an easy one, Ayaz. Last but one. you see the difference yeah. of the IPL. Yeah. And I can tell you, in England, I've asked people about, you know, IPL. IPL. Uh, they know, they know it in South Africa, in Australia. Uh. But in India, people, mm. at least even the kids, don't seem to know it's called the Big Bash. Mm. So that's the power of the IPL and the mm. brand value of the IPL. So mm. it's a massive, uh, you know, uh, mm. tournament, mm. global entity. Yeah. And I think that's something that is. A, hmm. the envy of the rest of the cricket world as Correct. well as the concern because everybody wants to be part of the IPL. Right, right. Okay. Amol, uh, sorry, uh, uh, you were saying something and we got cut off. No, no I, was, I was just uh, trying to make a point that is, is it possible to, you know, uh, basically uh, England and Australia tours are after every three years we go to Australia or four years we go to Australia and England. You know, is it, I mean, I don't know what, about logistics, but uh, is it possible to have, not have the Champions League just before the... Australia series or uh, right. have the IPL, uh, not have the IPL just before the England tour. Um, you can schedule it any time afterwards or probably somehow, you know, try and adjust the schedule. But not have the T20 format just uh, prior to the test series, grueling mm -hmm. test series. And like perhaps England bring us back to the second point on commerce, but I ask, quick last word. Yeah, I think, you know, but what Amos is saying is, seems the, the ideal solution. Yeah. But how do you do it? You know, yeah. as it is, there's no fixed window, I mean, India has right. got the IPL window, yeah. but England can't participate, the players from England, because it clashes with their domestic season. So, it's been a very tight fit. Hmm. But going ahead, I mean, in the long run, it's been seven years, hmm. they need to work out a, a calendar which is friendly hmm. for the players, for the various cricket boards, because they obviously also want to gain, hmm. and for the fans. Hmm. So, that they just don't bump into each other, hmm. you know, uh, or so frequently, you don't know why the hell the, the, the <laughs> tournament is taking place. Right, and that's a good note to end on. That's all we have time for on Cricket o Mania for uh, today. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Amul Madhumdar, uh, Navneet, and of course, my co-anchor, Ayaz. Uh, we'll be back with Cricket o Mania next week, same time. Thanks for watching.